what's up everybody welcome back to my channel welcome to this week's grocery haul so currently i am sitting in the car wash drive through i'm in line waiting because apparently i'm not the only one who had this idea today so i'm gonna go ahead and get my car washed and then it's currently 11 i have a grocery pickup at one so we're gonna ride over here to walmart in a little bit and pick up our groceries for this week anyway hang out with me stick around hope everybody's having a good day groceries up and then we're gonna go back home did you have fun today what did you do at school what'd you do at school today what'd you do at school who did you play with huh Amelia uh -huh. well what'd you eat for lunch what'd you eat for lunch Strawberry and cake. Oh, well, that sounds good. Yummy. Did you eat it all gone? Uh-huh. Okay. Good I job. I eat it all gone. All right. Alrighty, friends. We are back. Just got back from Walmart grocery pickup, and I'm going to share with you guys our meal plan first because that way my groceries will make sense for you. Today is Friday, but we start our meal plan out on Saturday. For Saturday, I've been seeing this... Um, TikTok recipe that's been coming up everywhere. It's chicken, broccoli, rice casserole, and it looks really easy. So I want to try that out. Sunday, we're going to do um, a shepherd's pie, or actually using hamburger meat. I have learned it is called a cottage pie. So we're going to have that. Monday, Hayden has jiu-jitsu classes, and mama just wants an easy night that night. So we're just going to grab something out. Tuesday, I'm going to be making chicken spaghetti. Wednesday is going to be freezer night, so you can pick either pizza, corn dogs, or pizza bites. He also has jiu-jitsu again that night. Thursday is every man for himself, so you just find what you want. And then Friday night, we always go through a drive through or go somewhere to eat. All right, you guys, here's what $160 worth of groceries from Walmart. Grocery pickup looks like we are a family of four, so this will feed us for a week. We've got some bagels for breakfast options this week. I've got some of that chive and onion uh, cream cheese left and I also have some just regular cream cheese left so I was like I'm gonna get some bagels so we can have that for breakfast I've got a loaf of nature's own butter bread for our sandwiches this week went ahead and got some Mr. Crunch Berry here for cereal options this week I always like to have some kind of cereal option in case we're running late for breakfast and stuff like that we've got this was a substitution I had ordered let me get my hand out of the way so I'll stop focusing on my hand I had ordered the little small salad cucumbers that come in like the bag. It's like a pound or two pounds of them. They substituted me a English cucumber. So I'm not really sure what happened there, but that's okay. It's a cucumber. We'll take it. Also, I had wanted to get a cantaloupe this week, but they were unavailable. So I'm going to have to wait on that, I guess. I got some bananas for fruit this week. And then also went ahead and got a pineapple back here in the back. And then... One of my favorite snacks that I have forgotten, long forgotten about is celery sticks with um, peanut butter. It's kind of like a sweet little treat that's not too hard, too awful bad for you. So I went ahead and got me some of these celery sticks. Hayden was out of applesauce. He likes to take just the regular applesauce in his lunchbox. So I got some more of those. And then, of course, these are... These were primarily geared for Harrison, but anybody can have them here at the house. But um, he is like... 
loving Spider-Man right now. He calls him Fighter Man. <laughs> it's the cutest thing ever. So I got him some of these and he's already tried to take off with them. But I told him he had to wait just a second so I can show you guys. Back here in the back, a canned food for this week. I needed a couple of cans of cream of mushroom and so I got those. I got some cream of chicken and then for the chicken spaghetti i needed some rotel this is the equivalent of great value brand of that for the cottage pie i needed some mixed veggies so i got those also for the cottage pie i needed um sliced mushrooms i always put mushrooms in mine i don't know it just makes it gives it like a more meatier taste i don't know y'all know what mushrooms taste like anyway i like mushrooms in mine we needed some more ketchup i wanted the bigger bottle but they were out so i went ahead and got that this is the heinz simply for drink mixers this week i've got cherry cherry pomegranate and raspberry lemonade i um y'all know last week we kind of dipped through the sonic drive-thru and got us a cherry limeade i'm like you know what i'm gonna make me some of them at home so i went to aldi's a couple of days ago and i got me some limes um and then i mixed it with twist up and a little bit of this um not a whole package just maybe like a third of the pack of the cherry drink mix and then i had some had some cherries but now we're out but um i mixed that all that together and made me my own little cherry limeade and it was really good i i don't know that it was as good as sonic maybe it's just in my head but it was good <laughs> we went ahead and picked up some more cherries so i can make my cherry limeades <laughs> and then also my twist up and sunny d drinks sometimes i like to put cherries in those we've got us some um hershey's simply five here and then also apparently they just had one bottle of that so they substituted me for or with one bottle of the zero sugar i don't really understand why they picked the zero sugar instead of just the normal hershey syrup but that's okay um we're gonna try it and see how it goes i don't know so anyway for the chicken um broccoli rice casserole recipe i needed some of these um nor rice sizes the chicken flavored broccoli rice so i got two of those and then I'm taking the easy route with the shepherd's pie this week. I went ahead and got the family size um, Idaho and mashed potatoes. For a little sweet treat this week, we went ahead and picked up some double stuffed Oreos. I got some Gatorades back here in the back to send for Hayden's lunches. I've got three gallons of 2% milk here in the back. You can see them. For meat, meat and cheese and all that good stuff this week, we've got one pound of hickory smoked bacon. I went ahead and picked up this Hillshire Farms turkey breast, mixing it up again because, you know, we like the Oscar Mayer one as well, the naturals. I like to switch back and forth every once in a while. And then I went ahead and got a package of beef bologna to throw in this week for, a, for sandwich options. And then needed some more sliced cheese for sandwiches, so I went and got the mild cheddar. Needed some sour cream for the chicken spaghetti recipe this week. And then whatever's left over, obviously, I can put on baked potatoes or whatever. Back here in the back, I got 36 eggs because we were running low on eggs. We needed some more of them. And you guys, I'm here to tell y'all that that Motor City pizza that we got last week, last week we did the four cheese deep dish that they have, but this week we're trying out the pepperoni. And I'm here to tell y'all that that stuff is good. The like crust is, is delicious. I, I mean, it's just so good. And... I mean, I know it's a little bit higher than all of the other frozen pizzas in in the frozen area, but I'm gonna tell y'all, they got they got that down, okay? They got it down. We got some corn on the cob back here for uh, sides, and then the broccoli florets are gonna go in that chicken, broccoli, and rice um, casserole recipe. I've got a pound of ground beef here for our shepherd's pie, and then I have some chicken left in my freezer, but I don't I don't like running too awful low just in case I need to throw something together. So I went ahead and got a big old pack of chicken. Now, let's talk about all these, all these drinks back here. All right, so y'all know we usually get Diet Pepsi. So I've got 24 cans of that back here. Went ahead and picked up a couple of Diet Sun Drops just to have on hand. Got my twist up because we always, you know, mixing little drinks around here. And there's a fly flying around in here. And it ain't even May yet. I can't stand a fly. Sucker's got to go. Sorry. Easily distracted. Uh, Sunny D, as usual. Everybody loves that. 
And then I also went ahead and got two, two liters of Diet Pepsis just to throw in the basement downstairs to have extra. And then Hayden, uh, Hayden's little fish, Oscar, it's time to do a um, tank change for him. So I went ahead and got some of this um, purified water and I'll be doing a little change for him back there. He's a little beta. All right. Last but not least, we got non-food items here. Got a couple of TMI situations going on, but I think it's mostly ladies that watch my my channel here. And if if you're a feller and and you don't want to hear about it, just you know you can you can click off. I won't be offended. Anyway, <laughs> I'm trying to get prepared and ready for baby girl to come. And I know there's some things that I'm gonna to want to have on hand. This is one of them. Um, this is the Summer's Eve fragrance free cleansing wipes um i just like have stuff like that on hand and if you you know if you've ever pushed, pushed a watermelon out of your rear end you know things happen so i got some of these hemorrhoidal, hemorrhoidal pads to help with that <laughs> and then i needed some more antacid antacid chews um because at night after i eat dinner and try to go lay down and go to bed I feel like I'm breathing fire like a dragon. And so these help out. Needed some more of Hayden's allergy medicine. This is comparable to Zizol. I think I've said that one before. Um, it's only 10 tablets, which I didn't realize last time that's all I ordered. So this time I tried to get the, I think it's like a 30 count and it was unavailable on the app. So the Equate brand is much cheaper and works the same. So we'll just have to order more whenever he runs out of those. Harrison needed some more of his um, baby wash here. This is the only thing that kind of keeps his skin clear. So we need changing it if it works. And then of course, last but not least, we needed something to clean our rear ends with. And this is, <laughs> this is our choice. We love the Dove cucumber and green tea. It just smells so nice and fresh. All right, friends, that's going to wrap it up for today. I got to get along and put these groceries up. It is 2.30. So I got to get over here to school and pick up Hayden. And I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. Thank you all so much for joining me. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> and I will see you all in the next one. I hope everybody has a great week. Bye-bye.